Hey guys, my name is Chantel. Welcome back to my channel and thanks for hanging out with me today. So, today, as you guys can see by the title of this video, I actually don't know what I'm going to title it because I'm on the border of if I should just say the name on there, put the title, or if I should keep it kind of vague so I won't spoil the anime onlys, even though, you know, these character re sheets got released anyway, so I don't know, I don't know. But anywho, besides that, before we get into all of that, yeah, we're gonna talk about the character sheets that were revealed for a few of the Inarizaki members, and <laughs> I'm so excited, you guys! Oh, I'm so excited to gush about the character sheets and tell you guys who's gonna voice them because, you know, not everybody has Twitter, so not that many people might not know about this piece of information and I wanted to make a separate video besides um, you know me covering this week's episode and all that jazz so yeah I am just like <laughs> oh man I have a, like I said I have a lot to say so I don't know exactly where to start off well actually you know what let's just start off with Osamu because or Osamu as we all know him because that's what Atsumu calls him so Osamu's character she was revealed last night at 3 in the freaking morning and I completely lost my shit and I was trying so hard to contain my excitement like I was just so excited and also kind of shocked and the reason why I say that is just because one because Osamu hasn't really been or actually he hasn't been introduced into the anime just yet I'm not sure when he'll be introduced or if he'll be introduced in this first core like at the very last second or if he'll actually be introduced in the second chord. Like that's just still something that we'll find out when we find out, you know? <laughs> so the fact that they decided to just reveal the character sheet like that, like nothing, is kind of like a bold move and kind of like, personally, I wish they would have waited until Osamu's reveal about there being the twins, you know, that he is indeed in fact Atsumu's twin, but that actually got taken away and if and when the anime only stumble upon this character sheet This just it sucks because I was really looking forward to seeing the anime only's reaction especially to people who have like reaction videos and like Talk about the episode. I don't know what they were thinking like the Haiku team. <laughs> I don't know because a lot of us manga readers have been thinking like where are they gonna stop like are they gonna stop with Osamu's you know reveal that he is a twin and not just a twin but Atsumu's twin like that would have been a perfect spot to end this first core because that would draw in hype and they wouldn't have to avoid spoiling the anime only for if they decided to um I don't know like that way the anime only wouldn't be spoiled because I'm pretty sure they're gonna put him in the OP like no doubt about it and somebody actually made like this point um, on like their Twitter and they made like this huge thread of why Osamu should be revealed at the last episode for the first core so you know again so the anime only wouldn't be spoiled but now <laughs> that kind of went out the window <laughs> didn't it which kind of sucks and uh, I don't know I don't know how to feel about it because like as a manga reader I'm freaking excited because now I feel like uh, I mm, you know I don't know if I can talk about this character still yet freely, but at the same time, it's like the character sheets are revealed now. I I can kind of talk about him now, can I? Because, you know, like, I don't know. <laughs> so it's kind of like I'm in the middle because I don't want to spoil people that are anime onlys that haven't seen the character sheets or don't want to know anything or don't follow like Twitter pages of the official Haikyuu page and stuff like that. Like, you know, it's just, it's a tough situation to be in and I'm just like, at loss of what to do next and what I should do and what you know like I don't know if you guys have thoughts let me know in the comments tweet at me like let me know because I personally want to talk about Osamu really really badly especially over on my Twitter like I'm dying especially because now that his like I said his character she got revealed and I literally tweeted is it really okay for me to talk about my boy now is it okay to talk about my sweet onigiri boy my food loving boy like is it okay like, can I really? After so many years? <laughs> oh my gosh, because I've been holding this information for so long. Now it's just like, you know, like, I don't know. I don't know if it's okay for me to talk about this boy. Like, I want to talk about him on my Twitter and gush about him, but I, I don't know if I should or if it's okay. <laughs> because, 
he's considered a spoiler in the fact that they just release his character sheet like nothing like okay here you go like <laughs> like I don't know so yeah that's kind of where I'm at right now <laughs> um but besides that we also did get um who his voice actor is I'm not too familiar with his voice actor I actually had to look him up because I was like who is this and one of the characters that I do know that he voices is Musa from Run With The Wind and I was like, oh, okay, which is, uh, you know, Musa has like a different tone of voice and I'm just like, you know, I can't picture that was um, Osamu just yet. So I'm like, okay, um, I, like obviously this voice actor, I don't know too much about him. I haven't really heard, you know, him do other characters and stuff like that. So like, this is gonna be a whole new experience and I'm actually really, really excited to see his performance as Osamu and see like um, what he does with this character is because he did tweet out when the character sheet got revealed and you can tell like he's just beyond excited for this so I am actually really happy because like his header is even like Osamu which is like the most adorable thing ever that I've ever seen like hello like that's so cute um next up uh <laughs> the character sheets that we got was Suna I'm so excited because his voice actor is Shimazaki Nobunaga and if you guys don't know who that is, he is the voice of Haru from Free. He is also like, you know, a bunch of other characters that I can probably put here so you guys can see because this man has done a lot. He's also Yuki from Fruits Basket, so there you go. <laughs> so I'm really excited. So as soon as I saw that name, and I saw that he was going to be voicing Suna, I was like, yep, that is like a 10 out of 10 perfect casting for this character. Like, they could not have picked a better voice actor for Suna, and I'm so excited to see Shimazaki's performance for Suna. Like, I am so excited, you guys. Like, so excited. And then next up, we have Kita. My boy Kita, he looks so cute. Like, I don't know what I expected, but when I saw Kita, and his character sheet he looks so cute like he looks really buff he looks just i don't know what it was i like saw him and i was just like holy shit it looks like i don't know like I, like i was freaking out because he looks so good just imagine him animated it's gonna like blow my mind even more and i'm just gonna like lose it like i was going feral at this point like he looks so cute like his little tips of his hair like it's so cute like i love him so so much and his voice actor, I'm gonna put the name here, but from what I know is he's actually Eiji's voice from Banana Fish and he's also voiced um, Natsuya from Free. So there you guys go. So there's that. And did we get another character? I think we did get another character. Hold up a sec, let me look this up real quick. Okay, I double checked to make sure I wasn't like missing anybody. But no, that is it. That's all the character sheets that were revealed along with who was going to voice these characters. And I'm not gonna lie, when these character sheets were um, dropping and we were getting the voice actors and stuff like that, I was like, wait a minute, where where's my boy Aran? Like, where is he? Like, hello? Like, where is he? He's missing. Like, like I was really looking forward to seeing his character sheet, but once they like stopped with Kita, it was like, Wait a minute, hold up. You guys are gonna give me like my faves, but not Aran because Aran is another favorite of mine from the Inadazaki team. So I'm <laughs> I'm a little salty that we didn't get his character sheet just yet, but you know what? It's okay because we'll get him soon. I'm pretty sure, I hope. <laughs> if we don't get him now, then I'm pretty sure we'll get him like during the summer or a little bit before the second core air so I'm not too too upset about it obviously but it would have been nice because you know he's one of my faves you know you know <laughs> my boy deserves some love so yeah anyway <laughs> yeah you guys like the character sheets holy shit I did not expect him to drop the character sheets for Inirazaki so soon but because they dropped these character sheets for these characters specifically I have a feeling that we're gonna see them more than likely at the very last episode for this first core because like why release the character sheets if you're not gonna introduce them now especially since you haven't introduced like the other um, members of Inarizaki just yet so that's why I'm like hmm so I'm holding out a little bit of hope but we'll see what happens we still got a few more episodes left to go and we'll see how it goes we'll see how this first season first season first core wraps up and I'm actually really excited because the next match which is the second match of nationals Inarizaki the greatness that is Inarizaki, the epicness that this match is, 
is coming. It's coming in July and I am so beyond excited and I can't wait to hear everyone's performances. I can't wait to hear Mamoru Miyano as Atsumo again and just for all the anime only get to see his full personality. I can't wait to see, you know, the Mia twins together and interacting. I am so excited because, oh my gosh, I'm so excited, you guys. Like, oh my gosh, the Mia twins, the freaking Mia twins, you guys. Like, Sumo and Samu, like, <laughs> I'm so excited. Oh, I waited so long for this and it's finally here that I just I just can't believe it like can you see I'm losing it I'm completely losing it. I feel like the Kermit the Frog gif <laughs> So yeah, um, I think that's all I really have to say because that's all the pieces of news that we got for the Inarazaki character sheets and stuff like that So yeah, I just wanted to like sit down and talk about it and tell you guys my thoughts especially because you know it did get revealed a little bit early like this reveal that you know it's the Mia twins, not just Atsumu, like he has another one, <laughs> you know, someone else that looks like him, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, it sucks that that reveal got like pushed early instead of like waiting until the last second and be like, surprise, you know, but you know, whatever. I'm excited, still excited for Osamu and I can't wait to hear him. I can't wait to see this precious baby boy. I cannot wait. He is so beautiful. <laughs> and then Kita san Oh, okay, I'm done. I think I'm done gushing about the character sheets because oh my gosh just, Everybody looks so good you guys and uh, I'm excited. I'm excited just seeing these character sheets I'm, It makes me more excited for the Inarizaki match <sighs> Anyways, I think I am done rambling for today I hope you guys enjoyed hearing my ramblings and me like you know where I'm at with the reveal of the Mia twins now that the character release character release character sheets got released, but yeah, um other than that that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!